Hey crafty friends, welcome back to my 52 favorite series. Here we're working on week two in my traveler's notebook and I'm actually using the Felicity Jane Willow kit um, uh, during Black Friday, Cyber Monday weekend. Jane, I put a bunch of old Felicity Jane supplies on sale and I grabbed as much as I could of the Willow kit. Um, so I got the papers, I got the die cuts, some puffy stickers and a few other things. And so I'm using that for this page today. Um, my week two photo is a picture of Joshua and I when we were on our Disney moon. It was the last day uh, we were at Epcot and we had these cheesy Mr. And Mrs. shirts that had established 18 on the back because we literally just got married a week ago. Um, and so it was my favorite picture of the week, even though we took tons and tons of photos. And so that's what I'm scrapping this week. Um, I'm working outside of my notebook for a little bit. Um, because I wanted to do this triangle page. So first I cut a sheet of white cardstock down to eight and a half by eight and a half. And then I cut the two triangles down. Um, I had tried out all the papers in the willow kit and I ended up just deciding to use this blue paper because it matched the blue in our shirts and I just really like the paper. So after I glued the two triangles down, I cut my square in half just so I know where to put my photo and I don't accidentally cut it in half later on. Um, so now I knew I wanted to use these two tags behind my photo. One tag says currently loving and the other tag is just a blue tag. I'm using a whole lot of blue on this page. The tags were from a Gossamer Blue tag pack, um, which I got during their um, warehouse sale when they were closing, which makes me really sad because Gossamer Blue is awesome. So that's where the tags came from. Now I'm pulling out the die cuts and realizing that there were more tags, but I'm going to stick to the tags I pulled out. And I already have my title. I'm going to go with Happy Adventure um, because that's what this was. It was exhausting. Joshua and I are still recovering from the Disney moon, um, but we had the best time. I think I've said that like at least a thousand times. We literally had the best time. And so that's what my title is. Here I'm sticking down the tags because I know I want the tags to go there and it'd be easier to create a cluster if I have the bits and pieces that I know in place. So that's what I'm doing. I made my cluster, I stuck down my tags. And now I'm trying out a few things from the die cut pack. I love the color scheme of the willow kit, like the corals and the blues and the yellows. Um, so now I'm trying to drag a little bit of yellow from the left side onto the right side because that, ye that happy is yellow. And so... I'm trying out a few things. Um, there was this tab uh, die cut that was the perfect shade. And so I decided I like it and I write out mine on it because that's what he is. He's all mine. Um, I'm sure he doesn't really know what he signed up for, but he'll figure out eventually. And so I lay it out to dry because I used a gel pen and I keep going with the rest of my page. That floral wreath is amazing and I could not use the whole thing and hide it behind a photo so like most scrap people do we cut things in half and we save them for later so I cut the wreath in half and I glued down just enough so it's sticking out from behind our photo and call it good and I think it looks really really nice there um, here I realized that the gel ink on that tab was actually not dry and so I smudged it and smudged it terribly but on the bright side it was double-sided so I staple it down anyway on the other side, hiding the terrible, terrible ink smudge. And I go in my stash for some tiny word stickers. I am a hoarder for of tiny word stickers. I have more tiny word stickers and phrase stickers than any person should actually have. And that does not stop me from buying them. They're literally my favorite embellishment ever. So I had this sheet of tiny word stickers from Allie Edwards. And they were all about changes and fresh starts. And I figured that, that was perfect for the type of picture we were scrapping. So I used this tiny sticker that says fresh start and it's gray with navy. So I figured it worked really well with our color scheme. Now I'm sticking down the whole cluster. Here's my trusty T-square. I don't leave home without it because um, I can't put things down straight to save my life. And I really, really like the way that ends up looking. Like I think it looks really pretty. I love the colors in the willow kit and I love that photo. It's probably one of my favorite pictures in a very, very long time. Um, so here I decided I want to put a little bit more yellow on the left side. So I did this thing that um, Heba from My Little Journal does all the time that I love, which is where you 
make a fake uh, little corner. So you fold down the corner of your page and you adhere just enough of the other color behind it so it peeks through and it looks like you have a whole page behind it, but you're really just using a tiny, tiny piece of paper. So here I am putting that yellow. I'm gonna staple it with my tiny attacher. And of course I do it off screen because I still have not figured out how to stay centered where you guys can see what I'm doing. But I put two tiny staples and then I grab another one of those Allie Edwards word stickers and I grab a puffy sticker from the Willow sticker pack. And it is a blue heart, but it's the outline of the heart. And I thought that was really sweet. So that goes where my word sticker is and I think I call the right side of the page good and I'm really really happy with that so now I go to the left side and the first thing I do is actually adhere my title down um, I'm using my Tombow double-sided glue runner because it is the easiest way I found to stick things down um, and so that's what I'm doing now I, the die cut is a little thin and so I just put the glue where the letters kind of looped so that it would stick down. I'm pretty sure it'll stay in the book, even though I didn't put a ton of adhesive on it. Here I am with the T-square again, just checking to make sure it is as straight as possible. And again, through the magic of editing, I will do my journaling and you will not have to watch me do it. I'm putting some more puffy stickers down. That was a little camera and I loved it. And then on the left side, I put a, it looks like a mandala almost which fits with the willow kit because the willow kit is very like boho and very free and so i put that down and call it good so now journaling's done and i pretty much just wrote a little bit about the disney moon and how josh and i honeymooned there and i've been using hashtag to the moon and hashtag established 18 on every photo so i just put the hashtags there because i'm cheesy like that um now i put the pages back in the book um i use that paper double-sided tape that I always use and now the layout's good so here are some close-ups I hope you like this I hope you subscribe and comment and I hope you come back and see what I do next have a great day crafty friends